Let's start walking over to the other side of the expansive Studio 9 to Jay's Lounge. A couple of guys who I know love to lounge. Sam Mitchell, Leo Rauch. Absolutely. Sorry. That's what I NBA do analysts. I, I love to lounge too, so I'm going to go hang out with them. Let's I talk basketball. your lounge. Right? This is where you want to be. This yeah. is it. This is where we it's hang out. It's actually decent temperature in here tonight. <laughs> Gee whiz. We Not tried. freezing tonight. <laughs> we tried to heat it up a little bit for you, Coach. Um, so the Raptors, uh, another loss, but I'm trying to find silver linings, and I love the play of Emmanuel quickly. I love watching him play. And then Grady Dick, six three-pointers. So if you're a Raptor fan, are you taking – are you taking these little bits of success from individual players and saying, okay, we got something to build on for next I year? I think you have to, right? And, you know, we were talking a lot about quickly that, you know, if you're looking at a point guard for the future, he's certainly showing that he can be that guy. Uh, I think the more he plays, the more comfortable he gets. He can score. He can distribute the basketball. He pushes. He plays with energy. So I'm, I'm very optimistic about that. And then Grady, you know, you're talking about potentially being a maybe a starting two guard next year. Uh, and you look at from where he went from the beginning of the year to the G League to now, um, I'm, I'm more than impressed. I think he's really shown us a lot. Yeah, I mean, if your 13th pick at some point is not ready to start, it wasn't a very good 13th pick. And I think what I've seen enough of him is that he can make shots. He knows how to get shots. And then I've seen some things earlier when he drives to the basket, you chase him off the three-point line, he can finish in a crowd. So I like what I've seen in his progression. He's gotten better. Every time he's gotten significant minutes, and that's something you got to be happy about. As far as Emmanuel, we knew Emmanuel was a good player. The question was, is he a full-time starter? Can he run an NBA team and help them win? So when you look at next year, maybe Grady at the two, Emmanuel at the one, Pirtle comes back, Scotty Barnes. Now you add to this roster. My, my question is, yeah. Right. Uh, it's, it's, your starters are still young, inexperienced, but now you got to fill out the back end of that roster. So you got to be pleased with what you've seen with Emmanuel Quigley, yeah. and Grady, but you need to start filling out this roster with more seasoned players in depth. So, uh, RJ, Scotty Barnes, Quickly, Gary Trent Jr., you've got pieces, but if you are Masai and you're Bobby Webster in the offseason, from what you guys have seen, you mentioned depth, Coach. What else does this team need to actually potentially compete next well, year? Well, we're talking about the draft coming up, right? So, you know, we, we, we talked about that. I don't think you're really looking at so much position versus getting the best players you can that have kind of that winning pedigree, right? That have that good character, but uh, you've got to load up with talent, right? You need bodies, you need depth. So you got to, you're going to be looking at draft for that. And then like Sam says, you know, we've seen a lot of good young teams or, or good young teams that have good young players, but stink. Right. Yeah. Right. They're just, and, and, and they're, I think you, sh you're, you're, you're short, you're, you're, you're not giving those young guys a chance to really develop if they're just playing with each other and they don't have some guidance from veteran players. Right. Yeah, for me, I think when you look at this roster and you look at the top six teams in the East, because you, you don't want to, you're not putting together a team to be a play in team. You want to be a top six team. Then you got to ask yourself Boston, Philly, those teams at the top, can you compete with them next year? And right now, the Raptors don't. They just don't have enough talent from top to bottom. They got some good pieces, they got some good young talent. But the question is, how much better R.J. going to get? You right. need him to get. How much better Emmanuel, Grady, Pirtle, Scotty Barnes? Is, is Scotty going to be that dude that can get you 25 time. and 8 or 9 assists, 8 or 9 rebounds, can put a team Every on his night. back? Because your best player, now if he's your best player, how far can you ride him? Or how far can you take him? So those are the questions, but we won't start finding them out until the draft free agency, and you start seeing the complete team put together. And even a draft, a lot of people are saying it's not a great draft. Right. But in any draft, there's some gems. In any any draft yeah. that you can find those special guys, so, you, you know, you're, they're, they're work cut out for them. They're going to have to do some serious homework. And their uh, their draft record, Masai and Bobby, is good. So that's a positive thing. Two games left, both in Miami, Friday and Sunday. Guys, this is fun. It's always fun hanging out with you. Best job, best <laughs> life. Well, it's it's no beverages, nice though, being you. Where are the beverages? It is good being me. <laughs> no.